Hi, I'm Scott Rounds and welcome to my 5-minute video training series. Today I'm going to be talking about Excel. When you think of being productive with Excel, most of us think of creating formulas, building macros, and being able to whip up charts and pivot tables. But oftentimes, learning the simple stuff like knowing tricks using the mouse and keyboard shortcuts can be a huge productivity booster. So in today's 5-minute training video, I'm going to be showing you my 5 favorite really cool double-click tricks in Excel. The first one I want to start with is adjusting column widths. To adjust a single width of a column, simply double click on the column separator to the right of where you want to separate the column. For example, if I wanted to expand column C, simply double click where my cursor is right now between C and D, and that automatically expands the column to accommodate the amount of text you have in the, each cell. If you want to expand all of the columns in a table, what you would do is highlight all the columns like I'm doing here and double click on any of the separators, it doesn't matter which one, and that will automatically adjust the column width for all of your columns. Now the same holds true for the cell height in rows. So you would simply highlight all of the rows like I'm doing here, double click on any of the separators, and that automatically adjusts the heights of each of the rows. The next one I want to show you is my favorite. You can lock any repeatable feature, such as the Format Painter, Drawing Connectors, Shapes, etc. by double clicking on the icon. And let me show you what I mean by that. If you've never used the Format Painter, you may have wondered what this little paintbrush is and what it does up here in the toolbar. Well, the Format Painter allows you to quickly copy formatting from one cell or group of cells to another part of the spreadsheet. And let me show you how that works. For example, if I wanted to take the formatting of this cell where name is right now, under B2, you can see the text is bold and it's centered. If I want to duplicate that formatting to any other cell, I simply double click on the paintbrush formatter right here, and then no matter where I click, it's going to copy that formatting to that cell. For example, what I've just done here, you see how it centered John Smith and made that in bold and you can continue that to any part of the document. But another cool way to use this is apply it to an entire worksheet. For example, if I wanted to copy this formatting and create a different calendar and a different worksheet in this spreadsheet here, how I could do that is highlight the entire worksheet by clicking up in the upper left hand corner here, clicking on my, my format painter, and then opening another spreadsheet, you can see I've created one here called February, and then click again in the upper left hand corner, and that applies the formatting to that entire worksheet. Now going back to the contact list, let me show you another way to use this. Um, for example, you can use this for creating auto shapes or connectors like arrows. Normally I wouldn't use these in an Excel worksheet and would use these more in PowerPoint or perhaps Word, but for demonstration purposes let me show you how that works. So for example, if I wanted to create some arrows on this spreadsheet, if I double click on the arrow icon here, that locks it in place, and now I can start creating my arrows anywhere in the worksheet that I might need them. For example, like this. Next I want to show you how the split screen works. I'm always surprised that very few people know about the split and freeze pane features in Excel. Once you see how easy it is, this is one of those you'll be using quite often, especially for large worksheets. To freeze the pane, click in any cell on the row where you want to freeze the pane. For example, I'm going to click anywhere on row number 3 here. Now, if you click this little dash, in the upper right hand corner of your navigation, right here when your cursor changes to the double arrows, double click on that and that adds a split screen right there between rows 2 and 3. So now if you scroll down you can see it freezes that in place. To get rid of the freeze just double click on the line and that takes it away. To create a vertical freeze it's the same concept click, uh, for example, I'm going to freeze column B here, so I'll click in column C, anywhere in column C, 
and in the lower right hand corner by your navigation you'll see a vertical right here when your cursor changes to the double arrows just double click on that and that adds a vertical freeze between columns B and column C and again to get rid of that just simply double click on it Now I want to show you how to autofill a series of cells with data or formulas. I can't tell you how much time I've saved once I've learned about this cool trick. There are several ways you can use this. For example, if you're creating headings using months, let me show you how easy this is. You can see in the spreadsheet here, I've already started January and February. But let's say I wanted to continue that. What I would do is simply highlight February, put my cursor there, and it you can see in the lower right hand corner of that cell there's a little box. If you click on that box and drag and drop to your right, that will extend out the days of the months. And now here's another cool feature. Say I wanted to spell out the name of the month and not use the abbreviation. So let me type that in and again click on the lower right hand corner of that cell and drag it out. Automatically has the entire month spelled out for you. But now let's say you wanted to add the row numbers to the, the columns here. So what I would do is type in one, two, like that. Now if I click on number two in the lower right hand corner, if I double click on that right there, that'll extend that cell all the way down. But we want it numbered. We don't want twos all the way down. So let's undo that to number all the way down automatically you highlight both one and two and then click on the lower right hand corner and that extends the numbering all the way down automatically here's another cool feature so this is the total column I've got a formula here that adds up January and February cells but now let's say we want to extend that same formula all the way down this column here the simplest way to do that, again, is just to double click in the lower right hand corner, copies that formula all the way down automatically for you. This trick works for formulas, autofills such as numbers, dates, months, etc., as long as the adjacent column has data. This is one of those that you'll have to play around with to see how great of a time saver it really can be. And the last really cool trick I'd like to show you is how to jump to the last row or column in a table. Just select any cell in the table and double click on the cell border in the direction you want to go. For example, if I want to go to the end of this row, I would just simply double click here and it takes me to the end of that row. To move down to the bottom of the column, click right here and it quickly jumps to the bottom and to move to the left again, there you go. This is a really, really cool trick. That concludes today's 5-minute training video, and I hope you found this information helpful. I'll be continually adding more training videos to my website, so be sure to check back here often. In my upcoming series, I'm going to be talking about how you can use Outlook as a time management tool, giving you more tips and shortcuts for using the calendar, and how to stay organized using colors and prioritizing your task. Thanks for watching.